you talk about presidential ancestry as a reflection of American genealogical evolution. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes. Um, uh, there are a number of plantation Southern, uh, then Federalist Yankee uh, high farmer uh, presidents to begin with, and you get a streak of pioneers mm -hmm. uh, from Andrew Jackson through largely McKinley, but you get there are elites in the western cities, midwestern cities, that produce Taft's and Hayes and even Garfield uh, and so on. Uh, then you get uh, what I call the social register presidents, the two Roosevelt's, the last of the pioneers and a few last Yankees. Probably the last of the pioneer ones with pioneer ancestry is Ford. And as is often the case um, with people of distinction uh, and with uh, the absorption of new groups, you're about a hundred years uh, behind the newest trend. So you're electing people now who are of all the social groups, whose ancestry is all the, have, contains all the social groups that were mixing about a hundred years ago. What can we say about how the ancestors of the presidents reflect the ancestry of most Americans? Uh, anyone's ancestry, as long as it's colonial or includes colonial elements, and most people now have a combination of 19th and 20th century ethnic and colonial. Colonial divides into New England, Quaker mid-Atlantic, a little bit of New York Dutch, but mostly Quaker mid-Atlantic, and then Southern, planter and then farmer. Uh, but it's three major groups, and if you have a lot of ancestry in New England, or a chunk of new ancestry, uh, a chunk of colonial ancestry in Virginia, you're likely to be related. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone's ancestry four generations back, any American's ancestry beginning with great-great-grandparents, is probably very similar to anyone else's. But generally speaking, the ancestry of presidents uh, equals the ancestry of ordinary Americans. And most ordinary Americans with um, Yankee ancestry are related to a dozen or so American presidents. It drops down to four or five if uh, your ancestry is Southern, and a little fewer than that if the ancestry is New York Dutch. We haven't had, or we don't have, uh, people of German or Scots-Irish ancestry who share much of that ancestry with presidents simply because the president's ancestry came so late. Mm -hmm. And very few people share Irish ancestry with Kennedy. What they do share are the same surnames. I don't know who would have more American cousins. I would say it would be in the low millions for both, maybe a little lower than that for, for Lincoln, Lincoln and Washington. for both Lincoln and Washington. Now, if you gave me Taft or Bush, it would be 30 million or more, mm -hmm. a tenth or more of the population. And for Bush Sr., it would be probably half the population, Bush Sr. and Jr. Mm -hmm. For FDR, it would have been almost half the population, if not a little more so, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in his time. What about your research on the president surprised you the most? I long ago knew there would be a considerable amount of kinships among presidents, but what has most surprised my readers and eventually surprised me were the number of kinships between presidents. There are a sizable number of immigrants uh, that are um, ancestral to two, three, four, or even five American presidents. And so those with New England ancestry especially get connected to each other often in a dozen more ways. They have a dozen more common ancestors, especially people like Bush and FDR and Taft and Coolidge. Not only a great many of the nobilities of Europe, but also a fair number, I would say 75 percent, of the immigrants who have more than 10 notable American descendants also have ancient ancestry. And that would fit probably half of the president, a little more than half the presidents who have royal descent. So you can get a 20 or 30 generation pedigree for George Washington or FDR or the Bushes or Taft or Coolidge or various others, Jefferson, Madison, you could get, not Madison perhaps, so that is a, just a mere strand, but you could certainly get it for Jefferson, uh, 20 or 30 generation pedigrees with a reasonable chance of being correct from the ancient world uh, to the present day.